Hi, today I want to talk to you about mangoes. Um, I had someone ask me how to cut a mango, so that's what I'm going to do for you today. I'm going to tell you, show you how to cut it, but I'm also going to tell you about the health benefits. So first of all, they are high in fiber. It's 2.6 grams of fiber per one cup of mango, and mango is so delicious. It wouldn't be hard at all to eat a full cup of mangoes. It's high in antioxidants, which helps to protect you from free radicals that, you know, damage your body. And um, it also has a lot of vitamins and minerals, and it has vitamin A, which is great for your hair, skin, and nails, and your eyes, of course. It has vitamin C in it, which helps boost your immunity. Uh, it's got copper and folate. So it's got a lot of really great properties. In fact, a lot more than what I just told you about. Um, but it also helps to support your heart health. It has magnesium and potassium, which are good for your heart because it helps to re relax the blood vessels and it promotes a lower blood pressure. So that's really good. Um, it also helps to decrease the inflammation in your heart cells and the oxidative stress. And mangoes help to lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels. So mangoes are really awesome. Now, because I'm really big into digestion, I love them because they actually have the enzyme called amylase, which helps to break down complex carbohydrates. So if you were to put a little bit of mango on your oatmeal, it helps to digest that. Um, it also has a lot of water and fiber in it, which will help to relieve constipation. And in one study, um, a group of adults ate one mango every single day for four weeks and they had really um, improved bowel movements. <laughs> so try your mango before you try some other, you know, not so pleasant options. So mangoes are also good for your eye health because they have lutein and xanthium in it. Now lutein and xanthium are antioxidants and they actually help protect your eyes from the harmful blue light. And the vitamin A in it helps protect against dry eye and night blindness. So let's eat our fruits and veggies. Um, as I said, again, it has vitamin A, which helps with your hair growth, and vitamin C, which helps your body to produce collagen. So hopefully, if you're not eating mangoes yet, that you do. So I'm going to show you how to cut this up real quick. You see the little um, part here where it was attached to the tree? You're going to slice down one side of it and you kind of slice in a curve because it has this pit in the inside and you'll know you can tell you hear that it's hard and then i'm going to turn it around and i'm going to do the other side now they do make these fancy little um gadgets that you can just push down on it i haven't i didn't get it though but um i do the knife anymore but it's really interesting. You can just smash it down and it, it takes both sides off. So next we're going to take our mango and cut it into cubes. Just like that by scoring it. And just to make it really simple, I am going to just scoop this out. And I'm going to put it right here into this fruit salad that I made. Now in my fruit salad, I have some blueberries and raspberries, which are really great, um, have a lot of fiber in them. And I've also got some pineapple in here and uh, orange because orange will actually help to, you know, keep your food a little fresher. Plus I love oranges. So I've got this great fruit salad here. Now keep in mind, you can um, cut the sides of this off and I'll do one side for you because we don't want to waste any of this mango. So we just cut the one side off and then you can just peel that off just like so. And you can cut this into chunks. I love mangoes. I think they're super tasty. I'm also going to add a little bit, like I said, I'm going to take my juicer and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice all over my fruit salad, just as a natural preservative. Now there's a few things you can do with your fruit salad, but let me tell you about the mangoes first. Mangoes, you can put them on top of your yogurt, 
in your smoothies, in fruit salad, which is my favorite way. You can put it on top of vegetable salads instead of using a salad dressing. Let that juice from that mango just get into those veggies. You can make a mango salsa, jams, or you can just eat it by itself because it's so incredibly tasty. So I have this wonderful fruit salad here, nice and colorful. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir. I love fruit salad. I could literally sit down and eat this whole bowl at one sitting, although that's really not a great idea. <laughs> so a couple of things you can do with your fruit salad. I just did a video on my anti-inflammatory cinnamon blend. So you could take a little bit of your cinnamon and sprinkle that over your fruit salad. So if you want that video, just um, check out the rest of mine. There'll be a link there to it. Now, you could also add a little bit of essential oil, maybe like lemon or orange or tangerine, if you like, or even lime. I'm going to stir this up. There's a couple other things you can do to your fruit salad to spice it up. You could take and add a little bit of vanilla. Now, this is my homemade vanilla, and I'll have another video to show you how to do that. It's super simple. It just takes a little bit of time. So you could add a little bit of vanilla on your fruit salad. If you wanted, you could make a drizzle and take a little bit of honey, lemon juice, vanilla, and your cinnamon blend, mix that all together and dress your fruit salad like that. I don't particularly like to add extra sugar to mine. I like it the way God made it. But if you want to increase your fiber content, because right now as this stands, once I put the whole mango in there, you have... 3.56 grams of fiber per serving, which is a one cup serving in this bowl. So that's a lot of fiber um, for a nice dessert. But if you want to increase it, you can take two tablespoons of chia seeds, sprinkle that right over your salad. And again, I figured it all together with the two tablespoons of chia seeds. You get 5.76 grams of fiber in one serving. And that's 23% of your daily recommended fiber intake because for women, we need about 25 grams and men it's 30. So enjoy eating the fresh fruits and vegetables God made because they are amazing and um, you'll really get a lot of good digestive health out of eating all these yummy things. So if you like the video today, first of all, thank you for watching. But if you did like it, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and if you have any ideas on videos that you would like for me to do, uh, please put it in the comments. And uh, if you'd like to follow me a little bit closer, you can check out my Digestive Wellness for Moms Facebook group. Thanks. Have a great day.